It's Saturday, the 22nd of January, and we have a rare midwinter offshore wind-driven wildfire event here in California today. My name is Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. Let's check it out. Let's start with the alert wildfire camera, the Yankee Point camera pointing south. This fire is located just south of Monterey and Palo Colorado Canyon. It started about 7 p.m. last night. The winds were gusting up to 20, 30 knots, almost 40 knots in the area, driving this fire quickly towards the ocean. About 100 acres. Evacuations were in place. Folks got out of Palo Colorado Canyon, and the winds are expected to die off this morning. This fire is located south of Monterey on Palo Colorado Road in the rugged Big Sur Mountains. And the area that they have evacuated is that area west of Palo Colorado Road to Highway 1 and south to Bixby Creek. Now there's no mapping of this incident yet because it's too early, but they show the incident right here in the bend of the road at Palo Colorado Road, and I suspect that your point of ignition is going to be right down here on the bridge at Palo Colorado Road. A lot of these wildfires start like this with nefarious human activity gathering up at these bridge crossings in the remote uh, forest areas, and then a spark getting out of hand, and then in this case the fire is taken off downwind, pushed by the offshore winds, down canyon, up and over this ridge, and down onto Highway 1. There are some preliminary pictures of the fire from last night, showing it backing down onto Highway 1, or pushing down onto Highway 1. And unfortunately, the only fire evacuation map I can find is hidden behind a paywall firewall here at the Mercury News. You, you cannot access the important information of a evacuation without getting past this firewall. And I can't get through to Monterey County. There's nothing there showing where the evacuation map might be located. But I assume everybody's out of the way of this fire that needs to be out of the way out of the Palo Colorado Canyon area already, I hope. Here's a good view of what the train looks like near where the fire started back in the Redwoods, away from the coast. This is called Serenity Cabin on, on uh, Google Maps. But you can see the thick vegetation and the younger Redwoods. And the other iconic California viewpoint that this fire is near is the Bixby Bridge, where all the car commercials are filmed along the Highway 1 coast. Just a beautiful drive through here. And of course, this highway is currently closed. But you can see that the heavy redwood forest quickly turns to this chaparral country as, it, as you get closer to the coastline. And this chaparral in California along the coast is designed to burn. It needs to burn periodically. There you can see a fire scar burn right there. Now let's go to the aviation weather map and see what's driving this event. We've got a high pressure to our north and a low pressure area to our south. So as we go up through the atmosphere here, let's take it on up. There's uh, 9,000 feet, for example. Clockwise rotation around the high, counterclockwise around the low is creating a strong offshore flow across California right here at Blanco Lirio headquarters. We're kind of on top near Banner Mountain here at 3,200 feet, and there was pretty good wind noise last night from this offshore flow. Looking at the windy map on the surface using the NAM model, you can see the strong easter or westerly flow out of the Sierra and a flow from the north in the Sacramento Valley, and it's going to slow down today. And down here where the fire is, Big Sur, it may even slow down. The forecast is for it to completely slow down and may even back up on itself by a few knots. Which means this wind-driven weather fire event will be out. Here's a view of the fire from last night looking north on Highway 1 
as the fire pushes down the high terrain, burning through the brush or chaparral that needs to periodically burn here in California along the coast. Going back to the Yankee Point camera, 12-hour look back to the active part of the fire last night. Moon coming up. Wind-driven event. Offshore winds blowing the fire towards the ocean. Thanks so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here. last.